Guys, let's not forget this. Filmora used the MCA to silence YouTuber complaining about their license changes. This is a blatant abuse of power and violation of free speech by Filmora or Wondershare as a company who are trying to silence anyone, anyone who expose their shady and dishonest practice. Filmora claim they have changed their licensing model to provide you a better service and support. Honestly, this is very laughable, you guys. But in reality, they are just trying to squeeze more money from their user by locking them into a recurring payment scheme. Filmora new subscription range from $20 to $70 per year, depending on what platform you want to use, of course. That means you could end up paying hundreds of dollars more than what you paid originally from your lifetime license. And if you cancel your subscription, you will lose access to Filmora 12 and its new features such as AI portrait, speech to text, text to speech, and etc. etc. This is unacceptable and unfair, especially since Filmora did not communicate this in the first place. Many of Filmora users express their anger and frustration in social media and online forum calling Filmora or Wondershare a scam and a ripoff. My favorite creator, Daniel Batal, he made a video exposing Filmora license chains and how they affect him and his viewer because he was Filmora brand ambassador. He was Filmora BA. You guys, come on. And you can check his video down below in the description. Long story short, after he uploaded his video, he received a DMCA takedown notice from Filmora claiming that he had infringed their copyright by using their logo and screenshot of their software. <laughs> and from my experience, Adobe, Blackmagic, and other bigger companies out there never put claim to any content creator by using their logo and screenshot their software. Come on, guys. Imagine if you make a tutorial about a software and you got a copyright infringement claim from the company. This is ridiculous, you know? This is ridiculous. And Daniel, in my opinion, he was not trying to profit or harm Filmora reputation, but rather inform his audience, you and me, maybe, about what was going on and how they could protect themselves from being ripped off by Filmora. And he was doing public service, to be honest, you guys, by exposing uh, Filmora unethical behavior. And this is a truly PR nightmare for Wondershare as a company. Guys, there are so many other video editing software option out there that are more reliable, affordable, and more importantly, ethical than Filmora. If you are looking for alternative, check out the link in the description down below, or you can check this video. Okay, so guys, what do you think about it? Are you a Filmora user? Please drop your comment below and express your feelings about it and i'll see you in the next one